Researchers will be sharing their latest finds on coral bleaching in our state today. It's an event that continues to kill our island's coral reefs because of warmer than normal ocean temps. KITV4's Ashley Moser joining us live from Magic Island with a lot more on this. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. Coral bleaching in Hawaii has gained a lot of attention, so much that an international team has been here for the last couple of days taking pictures of coral bleaching here in Hawaii. And joining me now with more information, Richard Beavers. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tell me about your team and what you're hoping to do here in Hawaii. Well, the Catlin Seaview Survey is a, a global survey of coral reefs, and um, we're particularly interested in, uh, in bleaching events. And so when we saw Hawaii was bleaching, this is a very unusual event. So immediately we jumped on a plane to come over and, and see exactly what was going on firsthand. And how do you take data, and what do you do for your surveys? Well, normally we've got a full scientific team of uh, five, five people in the field, which have two underwater cameras that take three, 360 um, shots every two meters. But um, we've also got a lightweight rig, which allows us to fly in quickly and then take some 360 degree shots, just simply by rotating a camera on a tripod. And this is very similar to the Google Street Views, but in the water. Has it been successful for the past two days? Yes, it's been very, very successful. So we've been to some of the, um, uh, the sites which have shown, shown the, the most bleaching and been able to record those really well so that people can see exactly what's going on. What do you hope to accomplish with these pictures? Uh, showing people, I mean, images speak louder than words, we were saying, but what do you hope to accomplish here in Hawaii? Really, it's about getting an understanding of what's going on. So global bleaching events are happening more and more frequently, and we need people to understand the implications of those. And because people don't tend to go under, underwater, about 99% of people don't dive, um, we need this kind of technology to be able to reveal these environments and show what's going on. Thank you so much, Richard, for that information. So these pictures will be available to the public. We'll be sure to get you that information. So a lot of pictures being taken throughout the week, focusing on Oahu's areas, mainly Kaneohe Bay and Lanikai. Reporting live, Ashley Moser, KITV4 News.